Hey everyone, and welcome back to Hoppy Central. Uh, this is Draw, and we have a little bit of a different uh, video for you today. Recently, I helped Hobby Central buy a collection, and in that collection was a bunch of fake Pokemon cards. Um, I don't, first, little disclaimer, I don't think the seller was intentionally trying to mislead us or anything. These are very easy to miss. Um, and as I was talking to the seller and Hova, it kind of came up that it'd be a, an interesting or helpful video to kind of go over why I knew these cards were fake. Um, so that's basically just what we're going to do, and to do that we're going to start with the most obvious of the fakes in my opinion, and that is this Magmortar level X. Um, so there's a number of things wrong with this card, and if you're not familiar with Pokemon, you might not notice it right away. Uh, but let's start on the back. At first glance this looks like a pretty decent card until you compare it to an actual Pokemon card. You're going to notice the color's a little bit off, it's a little desaturated. This card is significantly less crisp than this card. Uh, so it's just, it's a good starting indicator. I wouldn't necessarily base something fake that alone, because sometimes cards get faded and it's easy to miss it. But that's a good starting indicator. Uh, next up is actually just some having some general Pokemon knowledge. This is a level X card, and just about every level X that I know of, I might be missing one, but have a silver or white holographic border and not a yellow border. So that's a red flag for me instantly that something's off about this card. The next major indicator is looking at the background. You can see hollow foil pattern all going on right here, but this is not a hollow card. This is just a normal card. So that means this is a scan of a hollow. So big indicator there. If you see a hollow foil pattern and on a non-hollow, you kind of know right away that there's something wrong there. The next one is a more subtle difference, but one that you see on all the fakes in this particular collection. And that's looking at the size and shape of the energy. Um, looks fine like this, but when you compare it to an actual level X, here's the border I was talking about. Um, but look at the retreat cross in the bottom left corner. There's a very different size. There's a clear border around the symbol and the edge of the energy circle. And it kind of lacks that in these. It's just off-sized. It's very obvious when you have a comparison. Um, but yeah. And then the last sort of, I guess, major tell on this is that the text on the card in general is missized and there are some errors in it. If you look right here, there's no space between the parentheses and during. And right here, there's no space between the comma and Magmordar. And that's simply because they got the size of the text slightly wrong and they had to cut some things to make it fit. Uh, so yeah, that's basically how I knew this card was wrong. Uh, but I'm going to show you some other examples in here. Again, that was the most obvious fake, in my opinion. Uh, here's some more examples of cards that have hollow foil patterns. You've got the cosmic hollow foil pattern, but these are not hollow cards. Uh, and they also have the energy issue. And yeah, um, pretty simple hollow foil pattern on a non-hollow card definitely gives you some pause. Next we have a hollow card. Again, this is a fake. You notice the energy size is off. Um, but there's some other things that you should probably pay note to. If you look in right here at the hollow pattern, you see cosmic foil, but this is a plain, shiny, non-cosmic uh, foil hollow. So the cosmic is printed on, but the shiny hollow pattern itself does not exist. That's a big indicator. Also, the hollow foil on this card is seriously misaligned. Um, that's not an indicator by itself, but again, something to give you pause on and look at the card a little closely. Obviously, it's horribly cut, but that can happen in Pokemon. Gone over the poor quality control in Pokemon in general, but still, all that stuff added up together gives you pause to look at it. This is definitely a fake card, and the back also has that desaturated look to it, so another fake. This one being hollow. This is one of the, this next one is one of the better fakes, in my opinion. Um, the Infernape Level X. It has the silver border you'd expect, but there are some issues here. Uh, again, it, these Level X should have the cosmic foil. This is a flat, shiny foil, yet you still see cosmic foil patterns in the artwork area 
And you should also see cosmic foil along the edges, which you do not see at all. This is like a mirror. And yeah, that's just another fake. You got the oversized energy symbols. There you go. So for these last two, I have comparisons with real cards. And I'm going to see, give you a chance to see if you can identify which is which. So here's two cards. Technically the same card. One's hollow, one's reverse. And if you look at them closely, you might be able to tell which is which. I'll give you a second to just kind of look at it and figure out why. But yeah, so this right here is the fake one. This is the real one. Uh, I'm going to start first and say that the reverse pattern on this is correct for this card for this era. So this mirrored shiny is what you would expect to see. But there is a problem with the shiny. And that is that it's not limited to just this area. You actually see the shiny on the border. You see some of the shiny on the actual artwork in here, which isn't enough to call it off right away because there's definitely hollow bleed that happens. But this is more uniform than a hollow bleed. And it also has the wrong size energies. Motor drive the text is different than on the real card. And there's a weird overlap happening. Uh, the pokey power symbol is much darker on this card than it should be and then look at the back of the cards it's definitely off but this one's much closer than some of the others this is actually a pretty decent fake as far as i'm concerned um yeah there's another example for you and the last one is just a normal common card one is fake one is real I'll give you a second to identify which is which but again this is the fake one Biggest indicator is it looking at the energy sizes. You also notice the Pokey Power is darker on this one. The text uh, font is different, and like the size is different. You look at the back, color is off. Uh, so yeah, that's just kind of a little introduction on fake cards, I guess. How I knew that all of this was fake. Uh, there's some unfortunate ones being fake in here but it is what it is if it helps someone identify fake cards in the future then i guess i did my job um so with that hopefully you found that interesting helpful whatever take care everyone